Hey, what is up, people? This is Johnny, and today's video we're going to be doing five scary real life games that you shouldn't play. Whether you're superstitious or not, there is indeed something chilling about these real life curse games. Many of them have been passed on through our generations, and you can still hear about them till this day. Number five Ouija board. Many of you may have heard of the Ouija board that speaks to spirits. Participants place their fingers on the planchette, then it moves out spelling words. Many Christians give warnings of the dangers of the planet. It may cause demonic possession. Even occultists who practice it say it may be a positive transformation, but also warn of the inexperienced users. Believe it or not, the first mention of the Ouija board was in China around 1100 AD. In the historical documents of the Song Dynasty, it was known as the Fuji. It was a method of contacting the dead. You can bet yourself that you'll never see me playing this. Number 4. Bloody Mary No, I'm not talking about the cocktail. I'm talking about the woman who supposedly appears in the mirror if you turn off the lights and repeat her name three times in the dark. The original ritual goes that a young woman with a candle would go up a flight of stairs backwards holding a mirror in a darkened house. It would reveal then her future husband's face. There however is a chance that they would see a skull indicating that they won't be married instead they will be rather dead. In the modern ritual people lit a candle and repeat her name in the dark room at the mirror. It says that a corpse, witch or ghost may appear. It can either be friendly or evil sometimes. It will even be seen and covered in blood. It also may curse you or strangle you or steal your soul or other horrific things. Number 3 Charlie Charlie or the Pencil Game You may have heard of this game already in the modern version of Charlie Charlie. But before it became a trend, many Spanish cultures had a similar game named Juego de Lapicera. Teenage girls would play it in the classroom and it would point in the direction to the boy who fancied them in the classroom. It would also answer questions similar to the one on the paper. It had many ways that people would play such as placing the paper and putting yes or no on the paper and another way that two people would hold it on the hands, two pencils on each hand and then it would move by itself. The reason that it may be cursed is just because the thought of thinking something paranormal and letting them into your life is the, probably the reason why people actually think this is cursed. Number 2 Midnight Man Some of you may have heard of the creepy pasta Midnight Man, but this is actually based off of many real legends. The game is played by the following, having a supplies of paper, pencil, needle, candle box, matches, door, and a salt. Turn off the lights, then light the candle, write your full name on the paper from first to last, prick your finger with the needle, add blood drops to the paper, place the paper you had to the front door, then the knock on the door 20 times till it reaches 12 a.m. Open the door and blow out your candle and close it. You have summoned the midnight man, then relight your candle immediately. Now the inspiration of this is actually a real thing because many cults have similar rituals that they do in order to summon bad spirits. So it's kind of a similarity of something like that along the lines of that. It may be something else that may actually appear. Number 1 At Home Sentinence You may have seen this one in movies where a bunch of people gather around the table together linking each other's hands with candles in the middle and calling out the name of a ghost. Well imagine doing this at midnight. It may actually bring bad spirits to your home. Even if you're just playing around, taking it as a game, there are some people that do similar rituals in real life that are like a home sentiments. Thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it. Also, if you haven't checked out some of my previous videos, make sure to click on those two boxes in the middle to go ahead and check them out. Thanks.